You would think the American West would be the ideal place to strike a rich penny for gold. But Ralphie's doing it here, the jewelry district in New York City. 47th Street, baby! Here's a piece of gold. New York is a city of dreams. They say that the streets are paved with gold. It's not the streets. It's up here in the Diamond District. The sidewalks are dusted with the stuff. The city miner is going to teach us how he earns $300 a day prospecting for gold and gems from concrete. He's been earning his living mining the sidewalks of 47th Street in Manhattan. These pockets in the sidewalk of broken pavement, they collect debris which actually roll into them. They're kicked around or they're, they're blown into these pockets. And it's a certainty that there is precious metal in here. You may not see this right now. It just may look like dirt, but this is actually very valuable dirt. That's the first trick to urban prospecting. Find a good crack. Over time, gold and other precious metals like platinum and silver are pushed into these cracks in the street. There's embedded mud in here, and it's a bit hardened, so it actually cements whatever debris is in here down. Gold particles are especially susceptible because, like in rivers, they're heavier than other stones and lesser metals. So if jostled, gravity eventually pulls them deeper into cracks and crevices. Everything that I'm finding here on the sidewalk comes from the industry workers. They're covered with gold dust, or they have stones on them that stick to them from their work. So when they walk out of their shops, they'll fall out onto the sidewalks. As he walks the streets, he keeps his head down. And his gem spotting peepers peel. Wow, that's a nice link. That's a whole link from a gold chain. Cha-ching! Wow! That's worth five whole bucks. This gold was once wasted. Now, it's salvaged. Many times I've just walked on the street, and because of my own visibility, I've been able to spot things on the street just by walking above ground. Let's see what other riches he can find. Here's a diamond right here. It's stuck in the gum on the street. I'm looking right at it. It's right there. See that? That's a diamond. And it looks like a single cut, and it is real, and it's been mounted in this gum on the street. This diamond is worth $30. If this diamond was sold by Tiffany's, it could, it could probably be sold for maybe two, three hundred dollars. The streets of New York are paved with gold, and there's diamonds in these gold pavements. The next step in urban mining is to load up all the crud you dig out from the cracks and crevices and pack them in your backpack and head home to mom and dad's. You're going to see where the magic happens. So how do we extract the goldy marrow from the dry, dirty bones of the streets of New York? I'm separating the two so that I can get to the finer materials, the finer gold. Graffy separates the bigger chunks, then spreads them all out. This magnet I'm using to separate the magnetic objects from the non-magnetic objects. The magnetic objects are not precious, and they're not worth anything. I see. Gold is a magnetic. So all the cheap, heavy stuff that won't get you rich sticks to the magnet. And all the good, heavy stuff stays behind. The next step is to go through very carefully with tweezers and look for treasure. Let's see what he can find. Nice big chunks of gold. Gold balls. Gemstone. Tiny rubies. And small diamonds. I know that there's some fake diamonds in there, and I know that there's some real diamonds in there. But I won't make any determination without testing every one. Amazing. He's already got a small harvest of gems and gold just by picking through the debris. And he hasn't gotten to the panning yet. Ooh, let's get to the panning. He washes the dirt through a filter to purify and refine it, where small trace amounts of gold will start to become visible. Look how beautiful that looks, man. Really, look at that. That's better than sex. Oh, that's for sure. It's finally time to pan. Check it out. He's using a gold pan and the exact same techniques as the old tiny gold rushers jostling the pan so the heavy gold sinks beneath the other dirt. Right now, I'm moving the gold all the way to the bottom of the pan by shaking it down. See all the gold? See that? It just gets better and better. Tarnation! There's gold in them there, sidewalks. It works! You can't be crazy to do this. You have to be crazy to not do this. The gold dust that I've compiled over the past month, this in and of itself is probably worth about maybe three to four thousand dollars. So here's a way to make a living. Just go to New York City and pan for gold. But they might not take kindly to claim jumpers in these parts.